Hi, I'm here to talk to you today about uh, suprapubic catheters. It is an elective surgery typically uh, for people who have neurological disorders, uh, oftentimes a, a quadriplegic or a paraplegic uh, may have this type of surgery to uh, allow uh, their care to be done in a way that is a little less private and invasive, uh, but also it can be done basically to put uh, their care in a place where they can handle it themselves. Um, it's uh, typically pretty simple to manage. Um, as home health aides, we're not required to ever do anything that would be invasive. Uh, removing the catheter, inserting a catheter, we don't do that kind of thing at all. Uh, it's just our job to basically maintain it so that the, the client remains free of infection uh, during the time that they have that in their, in their bladder. Um, so basically the idea is the skin around the uh, catheter, which is just below the belly button, is where it inserts into the skin, goes straight into the bladder. Uh, we just need to clean that skin on a daily basis with a little soap and water, um, rinse and pat dry. Um, the uh, catheter bag needs to be emptied at least three times a day. Uh, we don't want it to overfill and we never want it to be higher than the client's abdomen because, you know, things run downhill, right? And you don't want urine and run back into their abdomen from the bag. Uh, that would cause infections. So we want to keep the bag down low um, and, and want to make sure it's emptied routinely. So also sometimes people will change their bags out. They'll have a leg bag during the day and they'll have an overnight bag overnight. Um, so the idea there is just at the end of the rubber catheter you're going to clean thoroughly with alcohol swabs, pull it apart, cap the catheter bag, plug in the leg bag or overnight bag, depending on which one you're actually installing at that time. Again, clean that connection with alcohol, um, and then you're done. It's as simple as pulling it apart and putting the new one in. The only special issue is we want to prevent infection, so make sure that you clean thoroughly with alcohol uh, before making the change to the new bag. Um, if the bag that you're connecting didn't have a cap on it or something of that nature, you would typically replace it, uh, but many people don't have replacements. So in that case, just again, thoroughly clean with alcohol uh, before plugging it in. And that should be about all you need to know about suprapubic catheters.